Hello and welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. If you haven't, hey yeah. I am gonna go through how I got this kind of base so the see by the title of the video it is a full foundation routine basically but it drugstore pharmacy price tag foundation routine please follow me on facebook or instagram or snapchat i'll leave all this stuff here and in the description bar below first things first is it possible to say first things first without saying I'm the realist? I don't think so. Right, first up, the NYX Photo Loving Primer. So I just put this primer all over my face. Some people think primers are made for like prolonging your makeup, but I don't think they actually are. I think it's more for giving you like a, so a piece of hair is annoying me. I think it's more for giving you like um, a better base to work on, like smoothing everything out so that the foundation goes on nicely. I am using a mix between the L'Oreal True Match and the L'Oreal Infallible Foundation. The True Match is in golden beige, I think, and the, the Infallible one is in light sand. Now, that's probably way too much foundation for one face, but it's grand. It's grand. The reason I mix the two of these together is because I love the finish of the L'Oreal True Match because it's a really dewy finish but the coverage isn't as amazing as I'd like it to be. So the L'Oreal, the infallible total coverage is obviously a full coverage foundation. So mixed together, you kind of get the dewiness of the True Match, but you get a bit more coverage, if that makes sense. I feel like I just said a load of words there. So let's put it wherever you want on your face. There's no real rhyme or reason to where you want it to go. And then you're gonna buff it in. This is the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. Like I start off with good intentions by dabbing into my skin like this but then I just get fed up and I start rubbing it. Look, people say don't rub your foundation but oh, if it works for you, it works for you. Do whatever works for you and whatever is easiest. You want to just make sure it's buffed in everywhere. In your hairline, don't forget your ears. Make sure it's all blended around the jaw. Now, I love the coverage of that foundation. I just, the two of them mixed together, I just think are amazing. Like really, really good, really good full coverage. But like, you can still see my freckles and stuff, which is, you know what I mean? Now look how much foundation I have left on the back of my hand. So once your foundation is done, you're gonna go into with some concealer. Now, because of the full coverage foundation that I have on me, I don't need coverage I don't need more coverage on spots or anything because the foundation did actually cover it. Um, I'm just using the Lasting Perfection in 01 Fair um, concealer. And what this is doing is it's going to highlight underneath my eyes to add a bit of brightness as well as covering any sort of dark circle. So I'm just blending that out. This is the Real Technique contour brush as far as I'm aware. Brushes are can be used for whatever you want them to be used. Just I think this, I think this concealer is gorgeous. Oh, just buff it in, bring it down the nose if you need to. I like to uh, put it here on my nose because that's where foundation tends to crack first on me. If you don't want to use concealer, that's totally fine. Don't. You do you, boo. But if you are, you want to kind of put it in stripes here or like a triangle shape, how Kim Kardashian does it, but I'm not even going to pretend I'm Kim Kardashian, so I don't care. Fab! Fab one. Thanks one pennies. This is the Wet n Wild um, Mega Glow Contouring Palette in the shade Dolce de Leche. I'm taking the cream shade and I'm just popping it underneath my eyes. The reason you put powder on after concealer is so that doesn't crease. Because there's loads of lines under your eyes, well, there is under my eyes. If you're young, you probably don't have it. If you're young, I make it sound like I'm 50, I'm not 25. But if you have lines under your eyes, this is just to stop the concealer from creasing. That's all it is. I'll set in my nose here, because remember what I was saying earlier? If 
you were paying attention earlier. Now I'm going to go back into the cream shade with just a bigger fluffier brush. You can use any powder brush obviously. This is a Real Techniques blush brush I think. Well, I don't use it for a blush. But I'm just going to lightly put it on my face. Just to set my uh, foundation. The reason you powder your face is just to get a bit longer out of your foundation to make sure you're setting the liquids. So don't go like, what's that word? Peeling off your face in two hours. It just makes it last longer. I'm still staying on this palette. You can get this in pennies or like um, random pharmacies. And I'm using the blank canvas F15 and I'm gonna just lightly contour my cheekbones, like really lightly. So using circular motions, you can find your cheekbone, the tip of your ear, and roll the brush and you can feel where it dips. That's where you want to kind of shadow it. But I like this contour powder because it's really, really, really light. It's not gonna give you a really harsh uh, contour, which is not really something that I've been loving recently. Lies in the bushes, lies. But I've been fairing a natural uh, contour recently. So just under the cheekbone. Now that this step is completely optional. If you don't want to contour your lovely cheekbones, don't. Let them fly solo. But if you have quite a larger forehead, which I don't think I do, I think it's just like a normal size, a normal size, but an okay size. Um, you can put the contour powder here and here. Just make sure you're constantly blending. There should be no harsh lines or lumps of um, powders. But Blend it out and it kind of narrows your forehead down a bit. If you like your big five head, you live your life. Who am I to stop you? I tell you, you have to contour it. If you want, you can take your powder brush again and dip it into the whatever powder you're using and just lightly go over the contour just to make sure everything's blended out because you just don't want any lines. Now, you can take whatever blush you want. I'm using the Fit Me by Maybelline, which is in the shade 106 Light Mauve. Mauve, mauve, oh. color whatever you want. You can use any brush literally to put on blush. This is the Angled Blush Brush by e.l.f. And I'm gonna pop on a bit of the powder. I like this blush because it has a tiny bit of shimmer, like not loads of shimmer, but a small bit of shimmer, so it kind of adds a bit of a glow to the face. Now with blush, a lot of people say to put on the apples or cheeks. I wouldn't be mad at putting it on the apples on my cheeks. I kind of put it above my contour. I feel like it brings my face back. If I start putting loads of blush here, it brings loads of attention into the inside of my face here and makes it look a bit, um, just doesn't look right. It doesn't look right on my face, shaved face. If you think it looks great on your shaved face, go for it. But on mine, the blush is much better here. Use your word, Megan. Now this blush isn't very pigmented, so you do have to go in and out a couple of times. But you're better off putting blush on with a light hand, because you can always build up, but you can't take away. And there's nothing worse when looking at someone's blush and it's just like, like that Bridget Jones. What movie is it, Bridget Jones? First and second, when she goes to the ball and she puts the oh, she puts the blush on in the taxi. <laughs> Vile. Can you see that now? So it's just a light flushy colour, it just kind of brings a bit of life back to my face. It's not real like, oh my god, she's wearing blush. But it does give you a bit of life. The last step, highlight. I am going to use the Sleek Highlighting Palette. The Flavour. Oh, flavour. It's in the shade, the palette is called Solstice. I'm going to dip into these two colours. Well, that was a bit much. Sols. Um, this is the Morphe B6 brush. I'm just gonna go over my cheekbones. Stone. Over the other side. Ooh, very glowy. This highlight palette is amazing. You can put a bit under your eyebrow, down the bridge of your nose, Cupid's bow. You want to just get the brush that you use for your powder 
and blend all out. You want everything to seamlessly blend. Word of the day, seamlessly. Last step is the Makeup Revolution Pro Fix Oil Control Fixing Spray. The spray whoop, helps settle all the powders and kind of melts them down into the skin a bit and it prolongs your makeup and helps with oil control. Woo, woo, woo. Obviously if you're not oily, if you have more dry skin, try a different um, scent and spray. The NYX have a dewy scent and spray if you're dry skinned, use that. Boom, boom, shake the room. I said boom, boom, shake the room. What, what? And then you can just add whatever lipstick you want. Whatever's tickling your fancy that day, I use the color pop lippy stick in the shade Tootsie, which I love. So there you go. That is my pharmacy priced full foundation concealer contour video. It's not that difficult, it's only about seven or eight steps. It wouldn't be like a quick and easy makeup tutorial for like running to work or anything like that. No, but if you're going and you had a bit of time, I think it's, it's totally grand. If you like this video, you can tell your mates, your mas, and your dads, and don't forget to sub sub subscribe. Oh my god. Don't forget to subscribe on the way out. Peace.